is it that comes up in your mind when you think of Soviet and communism, especially in terms of architecture? Nine times out of ten, it's probably something related to huge ass, giant and dystopian monoliths made as big as possible to house as many people as possible in the most confined space. Well, today I'm going to show you the building that is absolutely the most dystopian ever dating back to the Soviet times, here, not far from the center of Moscow. Let's go. When you usually think of a building, you think of a base, a roof, and four or more sides, correct? Well, not for this one. The Bublik Circular Apartment in Moscow is a 9th floor residential building built in a circular shape in a very different design from the regular panel block houses of the Soviet era. It is located in the Ochakovo district and it is nicknamed Bublik because this is nothing else than the Russian word for donut. There are two of these. The original plan was to build five. Um, as they date back from the, the date back to the 70s and the original plan was to build five to resemble the five Olympic circles for the 1980 Olympics that were going to be held a few years later than that but then eventually the plan, the plan was scrapped just because of the inconvenience really of building such projects as they proved less cost effective than <laughs> normal buildings basically So of course it's difficult to appreciate the unusual shape from the ground but when you look at it's when you look at pictures from above and uh, videos from a few meters up in the air you can really appreciate the craziness of of these of these type of buildings if i had a drone that would be absolutely perfect but i don't So not only this is like surrounded by vegetation, but there's also a Dieskat uh, Lashatka where kids can, can play on the inside. And there's, there's quite the space here. Wow, look at this. Yeah, it is from the inside that you can appreciate <laughs> how cool this thing looks really. So you see there, you see there, you see there on the side, and you see back there. This is all the same apartment complex, can you believe it? The two that they managed to build are not far from each other, and uh, they're exactly the same, and the only difference is that um, one of them has 916 apartments and the other one has 926. That's the only difference. They have the same number of floors, which is nine. They have the same shape, of course, the same diameter, which is a hundred and some meters. And they also have the same problems. Apparently, during the winter, um, really bad and really strong wind currents create and develop right here in the center and there's a huge problem with the fact that the rooms are not the flats are not rectangular but they're sort of like um, trapezoidal and that makes it difficult for living apparently or at least that's what wikipedia says but yeah this is pretty cool wow look at this man i don't know why but the smell here inside is absolutely atrocious. I don't know what's going on.
If you look up the word dystopia on the dictionary, there's a picture of this building right next to it. You see how it's closed and uh, people who live here can afford to leave their clothes to dry on the inside. After all, there are only 900 families who live here. Not that much, right? It's like the population of a small village. And if you think about it, it is a small village on its own because just around the building there are, um, there are shops, um, there are amenities, there are restaurants. There's everything that, you know, the, popu the population of any small village might need. Yeah, you see, you can smell the bread. There's a pecani over there, so there's a bakery. And so, wow, look at so many things, really. This is for the most this is for the trash, the trash of 900 people living around here. It was Mr. Architect Markielov back in, in the back in the 70s to have this fantastic idea of building something like this. Which might not be as functional as he might have predicted, but nonetheless, it made for a nice dystopian tourist attraction. You see, there's also a biblioteca, there's a library over here for people to get acculturated. I wonder how they decided that this right here was the street that this building was on and not from the other side but anyway here's the address for you Dovjeno Dovjenko I miss the K Dovjenko Dovjenko ulica nomer Shiest but this is only one of those because as I told you the other one is a couple of kilometers down south but it looks exactly the same Trust me. So I told you, this is basically a, a circular Khrushchevka and it was built in the 70s and that's how you see, you already have, like, you see the, the balconies supported by plain wood, undecorated, unpolished, just left like that. It Look at that. If you liked this educational video, I would appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up or even subscribe. Even more importantly, let me know in the comments if you would like to live in this crazy Soviet building or not.